RX 6700, 7600 XT. How do people even understand which one is better? It's actually simpler than you think. AMD GPU names follow a pretty clear pattern. Let's pour over the details. Yeah, you're gonna have to break it down for me. So take something like the RX 7900 XTX. First, the RX tells you it's a gaming series GPU. Sometimes you'll see the words Pro instead, and those are workstation cards. Okay, RX for gaming, what's next? The first number, like the 7 in 7900, tells you the generation. A higher number means a newer generation. So a 7 is better than, say, a 6? Exactly. Next, the 9 in 7900 shows the performance tier. Higher numbers mean it's more powerful. Got it, so a 7900 is better than a 7700. Yeah, you're catching on. Now, the last two numbers, like the 00 in 7900, are usually for minor differences or product positioning within the tier. I wouldn't worry about those too much. Okay, so what about the letters like XTX or XT? What do those mean? Those are suffixes. XT is high performance, while the XTX is top tier performance. If it's missing letters at the end, it's usually a more basic version of the card. So an RX 7900 XTX is a high-end card from the latest generation. That actually makes a lot of sense now. That's basically it. The same pattern works for older cards too, like the RX 6700 XT. 